Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, System Solutions for Healthcare Facilities. We have some brief housekeeping before we start. Your phones are on mute. If you have any questions, please type them into the Q&A box in the corner of your screen, and we'll answer them at the end of today's session, time permitting, or via an email after. And you can always send questions to mapaydigital at mapay.com. We also invite you to visit the System Solutions pages on our website, where you'll not only find detailed solutions for healthcare facilities, but you'll also find solutions for retail and restaurants, hospitality, residential high-rises, marine environments, and much more. In fact, we're constantly adding new environments. Now, without any further delays, I'd like to introduce today's speakers, Rick Lindsay and Clayton Peck. Rick is an architectural sales representative for Mapay Corporation. He's based in Derry, New Hampshire, and his territory includes Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and upstate New York. He started with Mapay in 2012 as a technical representative reviewing products and specific applications for successful installations. In August of 2019, he joined the architectural team, working with architects to select and specify the best product and installation methods for their projects. He's worked in the flooring industry for 34 years, starting in sales for a masonry and tile supplier in New Hampshire. He then went on to work in distribution as a sales manager throughout New England before joining Mapay. Rick's interests include spending time with his children, boating, exotic muscle cars, sports, and family time at the lake. And he also knows a thing or two about grout, which he'll share with us today. Our other speaker is Clayton Peck. Clayton is an architectural representative from a pay corporation who's based in the Bay Area and covers Northern California and Nevada. He's currently the secretary on the board of directors for the San Francisco chapter of the Construction Specifications Institute, CSI. Clayton has been in the tile and stone industry for over three decades in many capacities, including as a contractor and as a technical consultant. He strives to be consistent, persistent, and available to architects to ensure that they have the information that's needed to create clear, complete, concise, and correct specifications. When Clayton's not poring over specifications or recommending installation systems, you may see him paddling on an alpine lake in his kayak or spending time with Diana, his wife of 38 years, enjoying a blues concert. With that, I welcome both Rick and Clayton to the microphone. Gentlemen, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Jen. Uh, this is Clayton. Welcome and thank you for being here today. If, as she said, if you have any questions during the presentation, feel free to ask them right then. Or if you can, if unmute yourself, if not, that's okay. Feel free to ask them afterwards or email us. Today is uh, healthcare solutions and there are a lot of solutions. MAPE provides single source systems for every product system we provide from 10 years to the lifetime of the project. Your MAPE architectural representative can provide you with information and documentation you need. We can provide a letter of recommendation as well as CAD drawings and specifications with products and industry benchmarks specific to the needs of your project. MAPE puts our planet first. Since so far, everywhere we go, here we are, MAPE is committed to transparency in our sustainable efforts. MAPE, MAPE commits 5% of gross income to research and development, and of that, 70% is put to work focusing on eco-sustainable products. After doing a thorough life cycle assessment on all of our installation systems, those findings are put to work contributing to every other facet of MAPE's efforts. Then we provide sustainability education on a global scale. From the foundation to the rooftop, MAPE asks not if, 
but how, and puts over 31 R&D facilities across the globe to work on a solution. MAPE has America covered from sea to signing sea and then overseas to over 57 countries. Here, we have a team of 18 architectural representatives to serve the A&E community. Today, we have Rick Lindsay from the, up in New, New England and New Hampshire, and uh, me, Clayton Peck in Northern California. MAPE has 16 distinct divisions across the globe. And here in North America, we have 11. Although you may know us for just one or two of them, MAPE can supply most aspects of a building, both interior and exterior, exterior, on the land, under the land, and on the sea. MAPE is so much more than just grub. Healthcare facilities are not just hospitals. They are assisted living centers. They're treatment clinics and medical office buildings that are just some of the facilities that require spe specialized solutions. Any healthcare facility has different surfaces and finishes, each with their own demands and requirements. You have parking decks, exterior facades, elevators, waiting rooms, emergency rooms, operating rooms, physical therapy, restrooms and showers, cafeterias and kitchens, but we have to start somewhere. So let's start at the top. Whether you're parking a car or a helicopter, MAPE has the products to use. Complete durable systems from the substrate to the finish that perform as desired, as promised. This assembly is just one that can be used. There are others dependent upon location and in the intensity of its use. Rick? Good afternoon. One of MAPE's newest products is Mapacoat Deck T. This is a single component, water-based, slip-resistant wear surface for balconies and walkways, designed for pedestrian, pedestrian traffic and light vehicular traffic. It's also available with MAPE's color matching system for custom colors. Exterior facade. If it's a, <clears throat> you have a cement stucco with a weatherproof finish and a node to protect the cathodic corrosion, you know, that weird stuff that happens to batteries when left in a device for too long, you'll have sulfate resistant mortar to protect the steel reinforcement, a sealant to fill in the changes of planes and movement joints, again, a soft joint, elastic color primer over the cured mortar, and elastic color coat acrylic waterproofing finishes the assembly. Now, if you have a concrete structure with porcelain tile cladding, it utilizes a different assembly. You have the concrete wall over which is applied, in this case, modified mortar bed, then map elastic turbo, which is a uh, cementitious waterproofing membrane, granny rapid fast setting flexible mortar for freeze thaw performance and efflorescence prevention. That will adhere the tile. An Ultra Color Plus high performance efflorescence free grout and Mapacel T for the expansion joint sealants, again, for any of the soft joints. Moving into the elevator cabs, hospitals typically utilize resilient flooring for elevator floors. Whether directly over a steel deck which is subject to deflection and so needs an adhesive that can hold and also flex. Or with a need to install a plywood floor, there's a thin system to ensure proper assembly height, as well as porcelain tiled floor, tiled floor installations. Emergency rooms. Emergency rooms are subject to potential problems. The installation products must be able to perform. Small hard wheels on heavy equipment causes point loading, which can damage the sheet vinyl if the glue compresses, especially if the floor is not smooth as the wheels push up against any bump and that increases the stress. Using a self-leveling underlayment, you see here, to ensure the floor is flat, 
and a high strength adhesive such as Ultrabond 360 ensures performance. Again, it's putting a system together that is not only compatible, but suitable for the application um, and will withstand the ER's challenges. Operating room, <clears throat> moving into uh, surgical procedure rooms and physical therapy. An operating room would utilize the same product assembly as the previously discussed emergency room, as would a physical therapy room, but for different reasons. The rubber floor of the therapy room is softer, so it's more subject to twists and turns of the wheels, creating a shearing force, specifying again the entire assembly of products ensures the floor won't budge and prevents premature wear. Again, it's about having the proper system for the application, not necessarily the proper, just the, the proper product, but it's the system we're looking for. Hospital cafeterias. Food prep areas are normally the harshest environment in a hospital. Acids, heat, and other chemicals attack the floor constantly. Start the defense by using an industrial grade epoxy with chemical performance to stand up to the assault. Papay's Carapoxy IEG CQ not only resists foodborne acidic, acid, acidic attack, but will not degrade under the oleic acid formed by a no-rinse enzymatic cleaners. In these applications, cementitious grouts will not hold up. Your standard epoxy grouts will not hold up. You have to go with an industrial grade epoxy grout, and in this case, Mapei Carapoxy IEG. Assisted living centers. Assisted living centers, they share some of the same challenges, but have some unique ones as well. They utilize different flooring systems. Porcelain tile, perfect for this application. Luxury vinyl or planks, these are great ways to bring in a little more of the homey feeling. But area rugs in a facility that often has people with mobility issues, rugs can be dangerous or interfere with the movement of wheelchairs. So how do we keep these sock clad residents happy and safe? Mapa heat. Mapa heat mats create radiant heat and may be installed under both tile and resilient floors. Mapay has over 70 standard sizes to fit bathrooms, kitchens, and seating areas. Or we can have custom mats that are delivered within two weeks of sending in measurements. Your comfort is controlled by your fingertips. Three different thermostats are available. Thermo basic, which is exactly that, up, down, on or off. Thermo touch adds an energy tracking and programmable time and temperature settings. Thermo connect adds weather tracking with automatic adjustment, as well as Wi-Fi control. Adjust the temperature from your smartphone or from the nurse's, nurse's station. Tiled shower areas. The tiled shower area in a healthcare facility is the norm, and it is so because of its long track record of service. Specifying and requiring a single source installation system ensures the warranted installation will perform for many years. It starts with the concrete substrate. The slope in this case is created with Planty Slope RS. Because the motor is fast setting, the aqua defense waterproofing is installed shortly thereafter, and you can flood test within 12 hours, after only 12 hours. The Ultraflex LFT, which is the bonding motor, creates a tenacious bond. Grouting with the UltraColor Plus ensures a color consistent, efflorescence free installation. Movement joints a place in the work are filled with Mapacil T. Again, like we've talked before, you have to have a soft joint, you want to make sure you have that movement necessary, which you're not going to get with a cementitious or a calcium aluminate grout. 
and the whole installation is sealed with a penetrating plus grout and tile seeder sealer for the optimal performance of the installation. Tile over tile, why would you do that? Well, how about no demolition of the old tile? No demolition noise, no demolition area containment, no landfill waste, a faster turnaround, limited disruption of the use for the area and lower remodel costs. Tile over tile, why wouldn't you do that? Remember when all tile installations were small tile? The flatness of the substrate was important, but flatness was not crucial. A quarter inch and 10 feet was fine. Now with larger tile becoming the norm, flatness and substrate preparation is key and requires an eighth of an inch flatness and 10 feet. With the advent of gauge porcelain tile up to five feet by 10 feet, flatness actually is crucial. MAPE makes products designed for your project needs. Planetop 330 Fast, which renders the walls flat, Planislope RS for sloped floor areas, and modified mortar bed for reinforced thick set mortar applications. MAPE is more than just grout, but oh, what awesome grout it is. Flex Color Design is a single component acrylic grout that is both stain and chemically resistant and made to any color you want with MAPE's exclusive color mat system. Yes, any color. That purple in your boss's tie, done. The Pantone color from 12 years ago, done. Match that color in the tile, done. MAPE's color map system provides accurate color representation every single time. It is available to order in as little as one two gallon unit to multiple palettes of color. Now, how about taking that tried and true tile system and throwing in a twist? We spoke about tile over tile, but luxury vinyl tile in a shower? A system including preparation products that smooth the wall or go over the existing tile, a waterproof adhesive, flexible non-shrinking acrylic grout, and a final coating that ensures the entire system is not only waterproof, but adds enhanced slip protection that never requires reapplication. Medical office buildings contain a hybrid of conditions from both hospitals and assisted living facilities. In a relatively small area, it's not unusual to have several different flooring types, all with their specific installation products. Carpet tiles are a versatile flooring and perfect for use in waiting rooms and other areas of the hospital. Releasable adhesives allow for quick change of stained or damaged areas. However, it is what under the carpet tiles that allow them to perform as desired. Over the concrete subfloor, we use a prep, a Plenty Prep PSC, which is a skim coat or a self-leveling underlayment like Nova Plan 2. And then the adhesives such as Ultrabond Echo 811 gives that bond that is tenacious, but not so tenacious you can't pull it up and put it back down. Then you have the carpet tile itself and the Ultrabond Echo 575, which is applied to either the back of the base or the wall. And then the base is applied to the quick tack adhesive. These buildings often include rehabilitation facilities. Over the concrete subfloor, Planty Patch is used to smooth out the dips and gouges. Then Ultrabond's flexible strength is used to bond the rubber flooring. If the sounds of weights and workouts are concerned, the sound attenuation mat, such as Mopasonic RM, which is a green circle certified for 83% post-consumer recycled content, could also be part of this product assembly. As the popularity of LVT and LVP is on the rise, specifying a complete system has increasing performance. If failures arise, the finger pointing between tile manufacturer and the adhesives and substrate preparation is eliminated. The LVT manufacturer does not warrant the installation systems or materials, only their flooring. Is the flooring manufacturer willing to stand behind their product? To provide warranty, not only for the product, for the entire installation in the event of failure, more often than not, it becomes a finger pointing exercise that can 
require litigation. Specifying MA pay from the substrate to the maintenance products ensures performance and warrants the entire installation, including the flooring, and eliminates the finger pointing. Rick? Okay, getting into moisture and pH testing. Okay, regardless of the type of flooring, <clears throat> floor covering, excessive moisture in the concrete slab can be an issue that could cause failure of the installation. Both of the STM, ASTM tests require the building to be sealed and the HVAC be on for a minimum of 28, uh, 28 days prior to testing. The older calcium chloride test doesn't tell the entire story and can be often compromised during its testing period. The RH test produces instant readings and can be repeated over time. The pH level is often overlooked, but it is the reason for failure in most high moisture conditions. So why RH testing? There are ma many advantages to the ASTM 2170 relative humidity test. Among the most important is their precision. They are not affected drastically by the ambient conditions in the earlier generated ASTM 1869 calcium chloride test. They can be quickly remeasured. This leads to the ability to start tracking slab moisture condition in as soon as 30 days. It's a proactive approach to decision-making on moisture management needs. Will I need it or not? It's no guessing games, less risk. On this slide, you'll notice what happens to a slab after it's covered with flooring. If you look at the bottom picture on the right, there is no flooring. Notice the RH number at the top of the slab. It is 74%. Same for most any floor. But that top one third of the slab is where the old ASTM 1869 calcium chloride test would gather its data from. So this would indicate it was likely to likely safe to proceed. But let's look at the picture on the left. Notice with the floor in place, the concrete's natural equilibrium begins to occur. Now take a look at the RH at the top surface we spoke of before. Remember, without it in place, it reads 74%. But now it is 84%, not an acceptable number. I'm sure you can see why the industry has and continues to adopt the ASTM 2170 RH test. And again, both of these tests require one test per thousand square feet with a minimum of three tests. The other thing with the RH test is that you can leave these probes within the flooring, cover over them, lay out a map. So if for some reason you had an issue down the road, you could come back, take up just that section and retest. So a lot of advantages to the relative humidity test versus a calcium chloride test. There are basically three types of ways to control slab moisture. The one you need will be determined by the conditions. Polymer-based Planacil MSP for protection up to 15 pounds and 12 pH. Polyurethane Planacil PMB. This has no moisture limits and can double as a primer for self-leveling. And then the epoxy barrier, which is the Planacil VS, can be installed as soon as five days after the concrete placement, kickstarting the construction process, and allowing for faster turnaround, excuse me, turnover to the, con to the client. Now it's so important to do the testing so you know which one to use. Is it overkill going with the epoxy you know, the uh, the Planacil VS. Can I, you know, use the MSP? Is it under 15 pounds? Um, these are all things to take into consideration to make sure you have the proper product without necessarily overkill on your, uh, for your installation or right, the application. Medical office buildings, lobbies, and hallways. Cast and polished concrete open a world of design options. If you look at this installation, we have a prepared concrete subfloor with the primer and the sand broadcast, which is creating a profile for your ultra top topping 
um, to grab to. Then you have your Mapacrete hardener and the Mapacrete protective finish. Whether color integrally or stained, cast concrete can provide a durable and beautiful floor. Metal strips can be placed to delineate a logo or define a pattern, aggregate, type, or color. <clears throat> Endless opportunities with colored concrete. Large aggregate may be added to create the classic terrazzo look or a fine aggregate for a salt and pepper look. Now, how about mixing aggregate type, size and location to create movement or design? Again, it's, it's really endless as far as what you can do with the uh, ultra top terrazzo, ultra top toppings in general, just to get that beautiful concrete pattern within your, your facility and have some designer points or focus points within your flooring. So today's takeaways. MAPE has solutions for every challenge, proven comprehensive installation systems, best architectural support in the industry, 18 representatives across the country, worldwide product availability through a wide network of distribution. This concludes our presentation for today. Clayton and I are available to answer your questions or we can put you in touch with your local MAPE architectural representative. Again, thank you for um, giving me this, the opportunity this afternoon and appreciate you taking the time and your busy schedules to join us. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, we do have a question here. Um, let's see. It says the you mentioned a particular grout that is efflorescence free. What makes this grout different? The difference in it, efflorescence um, comes from a cementitious grout versus a calcium aluminate grout. Portland cement-based grout has the salts that are driven from the moisture, the moisture being the vehicle, bringing it to the surface and bringing that efflorescence down the side of the building, for example. You're not going to get that within a calcium aluminate grout. Um, Ultra Color Plus FA is MAPE's product, and that would be suitable for those applications. And again, virtually um, efflorescence free. Great. Okay, uh, another one. Referring to polished concrete, are there restrictions when inserting a logo? Okay, well, um, quick, go, go ahead, Rick. The quick answer is no, there's no restrictions. However, it's going to depend obviously on the design, on the layout. Are you going to have, are you going to get the right effect? Is it going to be in the, the right area depending on uh, the space and the availability? But the, the quick question is no, there's really no limitations to what you can do within your uh, polished concrete. Clayton, did you have anything to add there? Well, I was going to say if when you're doing a logo, obviously um, you have to think about the the colors that are going to be in and the 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 steps on when you are putting those colors in place. Um, if they're separated from each other by a metal, it makes it much easier. If not, then it's a just a pattern that is put down in place and covering of the other parts as you're installing the uh, other colors. Gotcha. Here's one. Um, is polished concrete slippery? Polished concrete does not need to be slippery. Um, the higher the shine, the, you know, is, it is smoother. It is the higher the shine. So it can be. Um, however, MAPE's um, sealers and coatings that are put on polished concrete do not make it more slippery. They uh, are, it's the same 
coefficient of friction or dynamic coefficient of friction you would have on the the polished concrete itself with the uh, sealers on it. I, I was going to say, don't we have a new uh, for LVT? Uh, well, yes. that's for LVT. Yeah, never mind. I just answered myself. <laughs> I, was <gonna> say that. <laughs> I was thinking, was, never mind. Um, oh, here we go. Can any contractor install the Ultra Top SP? Absolutely. It's um, as with any thing, it, it's going to take um, a learning curve. Um, when I was contracting myself, I had opportunity to learn this um, through a friend of mine who that was his business. And um, we kind of tag teamed on some of our work. Um, it's not a difficult process, but you need to have the, the right equipment and the right amount of people um ready to proceed before you start yeah that's that's a exciting product um yes, i'm excited about it <laughs> 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 um here's one should mappa code deck t be sealed okay well concrete Napa Coat Deck T, it's an intended to be left unsealed, which is a flat appearance. If necessary, it can be top coated with Mappa Finish Wet Look, or we have a product that's going to be soon to be released, Mappa Coat Deck S Clear Gloss. In a higher traffic uh, commercial setting, the clear may be preferred for improved dirt pickup resistance. So again, it's intended to be left unsealed, but there are products in heavy traffic areas uh, to seal it if necessary. Yeah, it, it's pretty rugged, isn't it? Uh, depending on the millage that goes down, even it could be, you can really build it up, can't you? Yeah. It's even uh, okay for light vehicular traffic. Yeah, um, that's what I thought. It's, um, it can withstand hot tires, which are the bane to many of the the big box store epoxy coatings that you might have in your garage, um, they, they can't compare to what Mopico Deck can do. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty great stuff. Um, and un unlimited as far as colors, so it's another yeah. nice advantage. Yeah. The same color map system that the Flex Color Design uses. Which is amazing. I mean, I've I've seen that uh, myself. We had some here at the corporate office, and that was <laughs> unreal. The opportunities that they had. Um, well, the key with flex color design, as we, as Clayton mentioned earlier, is instead of the 4,500 pounds minimum that we used to get questions all the time on how much do we need to order, that's what it was. Now it's a two-gallon unit. So, and it's really any color, like we saw the red, we saw the blue, those are the two most difficult to match. Yeah. And how close were those to the sample? I mean, they were almost exact, if not exact. So a lot of opportunities. Yeah, well, what impressed me the most is we matched Pompeii Blue, which is so hard. I mean, one little one little millimeter off, I guess, and you're, you're looking at Smurf Blue, or you're looking, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> really, it's hard. And they, they we did it spot on so that was in in grout that was unreal just just very very impressive i thought so i i nerded out a little bit there in the uh in the <laughs> annex <laughs> but i uh, get the impression nerding out is not unusual no not for me no <laughs> <laughs> But I find this stuff fascinating. I guess I'm in, in the right line here. So, um, uh, okay, well, I'm going to give, uh, let's see here. Oh, here's a question. I could see somebody was typing. Sorry for this. Uh, do you need to seal the ultra, co the ultra color plus FA? Well, you can, but because the FA stands for fine aggregate. Yeah. Because the aggregate is so fine, it be, 
it creates a much tighter matrix, which makes it less absorptive than your typical ANSI 118.6 standard grout. Being a high performance grout, the ANSI 118.7 grout, um, its inherent lack of absorption makes it more stain resistant. That being said, not all stains have to penetrate. So putting a, a sealer on will help with the the day-to-day -day cleaning and, and everything else. And, and um, so to answer your question shortly, it can be sealed, but normally is not required to be sealed. Yeah, that's the beauty of FA, the stain resistance. And the calcium what aluminate the, what makeup. The, pardon? And the calcium aluminate makeup of FA not being a Portland cement product. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we could go on singing FA's praises. I mean, we have the ad where <laughs> we've, we've sold enough to cover the world. Really. It's, it's, here I go nerding out again, <laughs> really great grout, but uh, yeah. Well, um, I want to thank you gentlemen for a, an excellent presentation and I want to invite everybody to visit the system solutions pages because uh, as I had mentioned before, there are um, literally pages and pages of um, solutions and um, if you don't find anything there, and uh, there wasn't something here that you saw, you can always uh, give either of these gentlemen a call and they'll get the ball rolling for you. Um, we really, uh, Mount Pay prides ourselves on uh, having the solutions to just about any type of project. So uh, please uh, pick up the phone, uh, shoot us an email. And if you do think of a question, um, and this has ended, please uh, send it to Mount Pay Digital at mapay.com and I'll be sure to forward it on to Rick and Clayton and uh, we thank you very much for spending time with us today we know that it's important uh, and we value your time so until next time thank you so much and thanks again gentlemen thank you thanks very have much have a great afternoon have a great day.